preparation for the previous assaults. What happened to me when I was a, when I was a young kid, and and you're getting brought through in Dungeon United. You know, you don't know yourself as a football player. I'm just a young guy who's gone out in the town, trying to chase women, trying to get a few drinks, um, and and trouble follows you now because people recognise you. So my trouble, what, the reason why I went to jail is because I had offences, previous offences. I had three, I had three previous assaults. <laughs> and um, he's a fucking thug, isn't he? <laughs> To be honest, I never started any of them. Who finished them? No, no. And um, that's, that's what basically happened. I was a young kid, I was in Stirling. I was going out. One night I'd be in a taxi rank. Next minute they would kick off. They'd be hell, hell would break loose and you'd be into it. And you'd get done. And then the next taxi, I went back again the next week. And you'd get fighting again in the taxi rank again. The different lads. So it, I went through that and then I ended up in a fisherman's village up in Anstruther and uh, I was in the, the boozer and uh, all these fishermen are uh, real big lumps and I, I was the young player of the year at Dungeon United at the time and uh, I went out and I out as I do and I'm in this fishing village and uh, you know, my, my mate again started causing trouble with these, these fishermen, I don't know what he was doing and I, was, I got involved but I'm going involved to separate it, you know what I mean? Because I was, I was just, come on lads, we've had enough here, you know what I mean? We want to get out. So, of course, we're in there, I'm trying to separate the body thing. And uh, this big lump, he's at the bar, he's on one of the big high stools, you know? Big earring in, big lump, big fisherman, just big, big oils on, he's got a wee bit of and everything. And uh, he's, on the end of the, he's on the end of the bar, like, and uh, I've had to separate my mates to get out, come on, let's go, I don't want any trouble. This big lump just went like that, I'll fucking give you trouble. <laughs> and I'm not kidding you, he never got the last word out. <laughs> so he just, he, 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 left, he left his cell when he got him. He was on, he was on his stool and he said, I'll give you fucking that. Boom! And away he went. And, and funny enough, unfortunately, unfortunately, there was two fucking brothers right next to him. And I'm telling you, it was like, okay, Carol. There was the place got put up, the windows got put in, the bar got turned upside down, the fucking bodies everywhere. I'd cut to ribbons and get coming out of the place. And basically, that was the last assault I had until the thing on the football pitch. So I got done for that and they put me on probation, you know. Fucking hell. I'll just move on there. So what about... What about the burglaries? We've got to eat two. Fucking hell. Two cup Well, one of the first one, the first burglary happened up, I was in Rufford and I lived up there and I had a wife. The wife's only fair in the corner, so I'm fair not as green. And uh, I, married, I was lucky enough, I married her, I met her in Liverpool, she's a cracker, you know what I mean? And so I had beside my babies and uh, we were playing Watford in the FA Cup and we were doing it at Watford and uh, I've come back up to him and after the game you can't sleep. So I'm, I'm lying on my couch in the, in, the, in the living room. I've got my tracky top, tracky bottoms on, I've got my top off, I've got my trainers sitting there. I'm fucking cut by the way, I'm fit, you know what I mean? I was 26, you know what I mean? It was like, it was like, it was like you know, I'd mapped it out myself at this break in. <laughs> and um, anyway, I've got a six, six month old baby upstairs, Janine's upstairs, she comes down to the court to you once, she says to me, come to bed, and I say, give me 15 minutes, eh? So, I'm sitting lying on the couch and you just bloody hear something, didn't you? I heard the wee noise, you know, and jeers. And I'm just lying on the couch and five minutes later I hear another wee noise. I'm like, oh fuck, here we go. So I put the trainers on, I've got up, and it was a conservatory. And I just seen two shadows move through it like that. And I'm telling you, like, my hair was pounding, man. And I, well, I said, what do I do? I'll let them scalp them, or I'll have a go, you know. I said, I'll have a go. I'll have a go. So, <laughs> Um, okay. So it was when I caught them on and the two of them come along and I've got the top off, I've got the tacky bottoms on, I'm fit, just went boom right into them. Uh, one, one went like that, the other one turned around and I just, well, where we went? And uh, you know, and, you know, I fucking filled them in to be fair. And, and it was, it was, it was, she could, she could hear everything, eh? Like she's upstairs and she's here, the boom, boom, you fucker, boom, 
Hm. Ja, heute ein ganz schiefes Gebe. Heute Ideen, heute Ideen haben sie gekommen. Oh, ein Pocket. Ja. Und, äh, alles, und der Pool, der Pool, wo ich hin. Ich habe immer eine Chance, to be fair. Ich habe einen Big Lump bei ihm. Ich habe einen Big Lump. Und das macht mich worse, really, because he was big like. And um, put the ceiling in his eye and everything. I was pulled the eye out. I pulled the eye out. I had this, had this bad pot thing. I was trying to put him in the phone. I was trying to drag him out of that. I've really lost my hand, really. And she could hear me. So I'm, I'm giving it to him. All of a sudden, he starts breathing me out of there. I'm thinking, I've turned around and I'm all gargling. And he's gargling around. I'm turned around, covered in a heat to toe. And instead of hitting him, I'm trying to bring him around me. You alright, son? You alright? And he's like, ah, it's fucking heat with Steve trying to bring him around, should have been. And, and um, obviously, I, I, I thought to kill the boy, to be honest, it was terrible. And uh, I, I just realised what I've done. So I've, my missus said, well, I'll phone the police. I says, I phone the police and fucking phone the ambulances and everything. You know. The poor fella, so the ambulance came, the helicopters were coming and the whole thing was coming. The policeman comes to the door, arms covered in a heat to toe and blood, knuckles, face, chest, the whole thing, and he's gone to me, what have you done? I went, these guys, you're lying here. He went, Jesus Christ, talk. he says, go and tidy yourself up, man, and get rid of all your fucking clothes, whatever you do. This boy, mate, this boy, mate, this boy, mate, we'll see you through the night, you know? So the, the policeman is there with me. Well, this is some chat, I thought this would be beating people up. I think you were out of order that night, Dunk. They were only, tr only trick-or-treating. They only come to do 